Welcome to the unit that will help you prepare your video clip to add to the website unit. You're going to be using Windows Movie Maker to edit your clips. Before you get started, you're going to have to convert your video using a program called Any Video Converter. So go ahead and locate Any Video Converter and open that up. If you don't have it, you're going to need to download it. When this window opens, you're going to choose Add Video. You would then locate the video that you have saved on your computer. In my case, I saved it on the desktop. You most likely saved it in your home drive. I'll go ahead and open up Camera Shots. That's where I saved the video. I will then click on one. I know that I want to edit all of these, so I'll do Control A to select all the video clips. I will then choose Open. Once they're all open, I will select the first movie. Over here in the right hand section, you're going to see a drop down arrow. In this case, you actually do want it to be WMV to be the output, so do make sure that that is selected. You may now click on Convert, and it will convert the video to a format that is readable in Windows Movie Maker. Once they're converted, if this window does pop up, go ahead and click No Thanks, and this window should pop up with all your video. If it doesn't, you're going to need to know how to locate this, so what you would do is you would go to My Computer, you would go to your Documents, and you would then locate any video converter. When that window loads, since you did convert it to WMV, you would open up that folder, and there is the video. So I'm going to go ahead and select the video that I just converted. I will do Control X, and I'm going to go somewhere safe on my computer to create a folder. Okay, you might go somewhere like your H drive. To make life easy, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my desktop for now. I will call it Movie Clips. And everything for this project you should store in the Movie Clips folder. So I'll go ahead and open that and I will paste the video. I'm now going to go ahead and open up Windows Movie Maker. So go to the Start menu and locate Windows Movie Maker 2.6 and open that up. I'm going to go ahead and save it immediately. So I'll choose File, Save Project As. I'm going to locate that folder that I just created and call it Movie Clip. So if you go to Collections, you can see that there are collections in there. Since you're sharing the computer with someone, you might want to just leave them alone. I'm now ready to start editing some of these video clips. I will choose File. I will choose Tasks at the top. I will then choose Import Video. And I'm going to locate one of the videos. I'll go ahead and load that. And you want to drag it onto the timeline. If you notice, this is Timeline Mode down at the bottom. If you want to look at it in Storyboard, you would click Show Storyboard. I really enjoy working from the Timeline Mode. So I'll, you can go ahead and drag it down onto the clip, and you can play it see what you have. Now I'm pretty happy with just what I have. I'm going to definitely mute the sound associated with this video. So that is right underneath the video. You can see it here, and you'd right-click and choose Mute. If that's not showing, it's because you need to click the plus sign next to Video. Look over here on the left. Locate that sound and choose Mute. If you wanted to clip out some of the video because it wasn't perfect or what have you, say for example, I'm going to click here. Let's say I didn't want that first part of the video clip, but I want the rest. I would then choose the little clip option here where it says split the clip. I would then select that part and delete it. And let's say for example I wanted from here on down, I don't want that. I would click on the split the clip. I would then select that and delete it. But I do want it, so I'm going to leave it as is. The only thing I need to add at this point is maybe a cool little sound effect. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do that next. Do notice that I do have an MP3 sound in that Movie Clips folder. I am keeping everything intended for this project in one location. That is really good for organizational purposes. Now that I have the sound in that folder, I'm going to return to the movie. I will click on the tasks and make sure that's available, and then choose Import Audio or Music. I will then locate that folder, Movie Clips, I'll select it, and I will then drag it to the timeline. You could also right click and choose Add to Timeline. As you can see, the music extends really long. If you do want the beginning of the song, you can go ahead and just leave that. And I'm going to go ahead and click at the end of the timeline. Make sure that that sound is selected. I would then click on the split the clip. I would select that and then delete it. And then you're going to want to play it to see if you like that. Choose music that's going to add some drama to the clip. Make it a little more interesting. So this actually is going to come out pretty interesting with the sound and the video. If you want, you can also right click and you could fade out the sound. You could also right click and fade in. If you don't want fade in or fade out, then don't do that option. I just want you to know that that is available. Once it's done, choose File, Save Movie File. 
I would then choose my computer next and I'll name this close up because that's the shot. I'll locate the folder that I've created for this unit. Once I've selected that folder, I will click OK. I will then click Next, Next. I'll click Finish. The video is now ready to add to the website. This concludes the session on preparing your video clips for the website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.